talk about our WordPress plugin. It's called Table Press. And what do you do with this plugin? You can actually create nice, beautiful tables by using this particular plugin. So let me show you an example. This is a post from one of my blogs. And as you can see, I have uh, created a nice table using this particular plugin. The specialty of this table is that I can reorder items alphabetically, both ascending and uh, descending. So this is the thing, this is the feature I have found quite amazing about this plugin. Okay, now on to another side of mine. Here, uh, I have not installed the plugin at all. So let me install uh, the plugin first of all. First thing first, I have clicked the add new button. And, you know, I live in rural areas. That's why the internet here is a little bit slow. So please have patience. Hold on to me. It's loading and loading and loading forever and a day. Okay, I will be back when it's fully loaded. Okay, I'm back now. As you can see, I have to search for the plugin, which just happens to be table press. Then after that, I need to click enter. That's my son. He's just a little overjoyed because he just had a trip with his mom outside in the sun. Uh, in the winter morning, although it is not exactly a morning, it's now afternoon. But yet, then again, my son is very much excited. He's always excited and I'm happy about it. Okay, so this is the plugin. I was looking for table press. All I need to do is click install now. That's what I'm going to do. It has successfully installed. All I need to do is to activate this. So let me click activate right here. Okay. So not only the internet connection, but also the scrolling thing is not exactly working right for me. I don't know whether when I am scrolling down and when I am scrolling up. Okay, let's activate it. Uh, let me show you. Since its name is, oh gosh, what the hell is this? Ninja Ninja Tables. I didn't I never asked for Ninja Tables to be installed. Anyway, I will get rid of this in a moment. But this is the plugin I want to talk about Table Press. And uh, as you can see, once it has been successfully installed and activated, you can see uh, where is that? Where's that? I'm looking for it in the left sidebar, the only sidebar on the WordPress dashboard yes okay this is table press as you can see in the sidebar a new tab let me click on it and actually i want to see all these things these are sub tabs i want to go to the table press page okay now i am here on the table press page and these are the sub tabs that I was talking about all tables, add new, import, export, plugin options, and about. Okay. So now that, uh, what do I need to do? I actually need to create a table. Without a table, what is the use of this plugin named Table Press? Pays equals to Table Press underscore. Is it underscore? I'm not sure. Add. Okay. So, first of all, I need to name my table. What is it going to be? What about the table on my other blog? What is it named? Let me, let me show you once again. Actually, this is a physics blog, 
I'm not sure whether you guys really like physics a lot, so maybe uh, on my other blog, I may not be created. I may not be creating a table on physics quantities and you know, okay, something. So um, I don't know whether you like this or find this stuff boring. Okay, so maybe uh, we are going to create a table. Um, let's say employee. This table will be about the employees of a company, okay, fictitious company, imaginary company, that's what I want to talk about. So in this box, here in this box, you can add a description, although this is kind of optional. Let me type a little bit of sample text like <coughs> this table gives you details about the employees of a company. Oh, I got the spelling wrong. It is company, not complain. Okay, so now that I have, like I told you earlier, I don't know what's going on. The scrolling up and scrolling down thing I have. <coughs> named the table i have added a little bit of description now it's time to choose how many rows and columns there will be in the table okay five and five these are simply okay uh, i say okay because you know you can adjust the number of rows and columns later so let me hit add table Yes, the table, I don't know why the table ID is 2. And uh, the short code is also, this is the short code for the table. Okay, the thing is that I created another table on this site previously, just a few moments ago. And that video recording was not successful. So I'm creating another table here and recording the screen once again. So that's why it's uh, the index of the table ID is two. It really does not matter whether it's two or three. All is important is that whether it, the table has an ID and the short code, because this is the short code you will need to have to put the table on a particular page or maybe a post. So as you can see, this is the table name and this is the description of the table. And the table was last modified at this time by this particular individual who just happens to be me. Okay, no problem. So what is now, you know, so we decide to have five rows and five columns, although we can adjust the number of rows and columns at any moment we feel like. So let me type name of the employee. And then designation. You know, this video may be, you know, disconnected at any time because let me show you why. This is Ice Cream Skin Recorder and it does not let me record a uh, clip more than 10 minutes. So another one minute and eight, seven seconds left. Okay. So it will be disconnected anytime. Don't worry. It will have a second part. This is the first part of this tutorial series on table press so designation after that let's say joining that oh it's simply joining and then to let's say total service period and lastly let's say monthly salary Okay, so who would be the very first employee? Let's say his name is John Smith. And his designation may be something like, let's say, manager. Okay, manager is cool. Joining that, I don't know. Okay, I guess I have reached the end of this, the first part. So, okay, see you in the second part.